What's good, Five Stripe fam? It's your boy Devin Farrell here on Atlanta United Fan TV talking all things daily news update. Let's get after it. First things first, we got the injury report. Players are coming back to the squad. This is important because uh, it kind of filters into my next bit of big news. But um, So players like George Bello returning to the first team training on Monday from his groin injury. Uh, you know, other players like Franco Escobar returning from the abductor injury that he suffered in the slog fest up in Columbus. That's good news because that's the injury that kept Darlington Nagby out for an extended period of time last season. Granted, it was obviously more serious, but uh, good to have Franco back with the first team. PT Martinez also returning to the first team uh, from the injury that he suffered out on international duty with Argentina. Uh, he came back in Tuesday to full training, so I don't know if he's a starting candidate uh, for the match against New England. But who knows? He might start. If not, you get a Tito start. But it's good to know that PT is back in full contact training with the uh, the starting 11 uh, up in Kennesaw with the squad. So, or up in Marietta, excuse me, at the practice squad. So, um, other bit of news. Florence and Pogba back from his hamstring strain. Um, played with the ATL United 2. Uh, over the weekend, so that's good to see. Another player that might get a call up uh, to the 18, you never really know, but um, that leads me into my big bit of news, which want, 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 sad, tramp, sad trombone. Um, the guy that just can't seem to stay healthy, he's our new Greg Garza. Mikey Ambrose um, suffers a re-aggravation of his meniscus injury. They're, they're saying three to five weeks, you know, better part of a month um, for a guy who had, had recently solidified the the left back, left wing back role. It's it's a sad thing to see because he was really looking good outside of that one performance at Monterey where he was played out of position. I mean, he had really solidified himself in that role. Um, so that that brings you to the good news that George Bello is back training with the first team. So with that being said, and the options being Breck Shea, uh, George Bello, not really sure what else. I mean, I guess you could play Michael Parkhurst in a spot at, at left. I don't know. I wouldn't do that. But um, I want to know what you guys think. Is 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 this a match where you you bleed Bellow back in with MLS play? He did score against New England at home last year. I realize this match is on the road, but I'd love to know what you think. Do you go with Breck Shea, who's comfortable, uh, you know, on the ball? Uh, maybe hasn't had his best showing, but can give you moments on offense. Um, maybe even if a, a, a bit of a liability on defense. Or do you go with the youngster uh, who needs the opportunity to maybe build some confidence back up after getting hurt against Erdiano in the CCL opener. What do you guys think? It's it's you know it's it's interesting. This is a very, in my opinion, a crucial match. You know, to kind of right the ship. It's been a rough start to the season. Technically, in the Eastern Conference, we are the lowest <laughs> lowest team on the totem pole, and in the West, it's Portland. So you know, two teams that played for MLS Cup played deep into the season didn't really have much of a preseason. Are both at the bottom. Of course, Atlanta United had their extended run in CCL, which which made a, a, a fixture congestion. But there's none of those excuses this week. You've had a full almost two weeks to train since, like I said, the slog fest in Columbus. So what do you guys think is going to happen? A, two questions. Who starts at left back? Second question, do you start PT or Tito? Uh, obviously, like I said, Pito coming, uh, PT come, Pito, uh, PT coming back from the injury that he suffered with Argentina, just returning to first team training on Tuesday. Tito, I think, has you know put in the effort and played well, albeit to very limited results. But the whole team's had limited results. That's my question. I'm Devin Farrell. This is Atlanta United Fan TV. This has been your news update for the day. If anything else happens during the day, I'll get back at you. If not, I'll see you tomorrow.